But of course, we also looked all to Georgia with um, like quite shock, I would say, uh, when uh, recently there was uh, published this, this um, draft law and then uh, later the law uh, on the foreign agent um, uh, discussion, which you can maybe also like uh, give us an impression also what it had as an impact for your work as well and uh, how it shaped your work. Um, and then, of course, um, what recently happened um, was what what uh, what Putin tried with basically the visa freedom. Um, so there's a lot of things going on in Georgia. So um, what do you also expect uh, from these events for the Georgian elections um, that are happening next year? Um, let me put it that way. Um, a lot has changed since uh, the Ukraine war, since uh, the full-scale invasion, uh, Russian invasion into Ukraine. It has changed uh, the political landscape in geopolitics on the ground, and, and it has a direct effect uh, on Georgia. Mm, and um, if uh, this can be put it uh, this way, Georgia can benefit from the situation in a sense that um, now since Ukraine the western attitudes are changing completely mm, we have lived through 2008 and then again 2014 when Russia invaded first Georgia and then uh, Ukraine and uh, we could not have even dreamt of such a consolidated west and its consistent Western policies towards Russia and towards the region. This gives us uh, a historic chance and opportunity to get closer to the European Union and to, to eventually get there for what we've been as a society fighting for for 30 years, um, getting close uh, to Europe and to European Union is has been our foreign policy objective and goal mm, since uh, the very beginning of our independence. And uh, so far, all the uh, national governments have pursued that path that is different with the current government. The current government uh, has chosen a different way. Uh, it has uh, chosen a... Um, in the meantime, I would say a very anti-Western direction uh, and uh, decided to get closer to Russia and also to put Georgia and Georgia's EU perspective at risk. Um, while we have been seeing uh, a number of anti-Western policies being pushed through uh, the current Georgian government, one of them is, uh, or there are many, but it uh, was an extreme example um, in, uh, in, uh, that has taken place in March. Um, last March, where they have tried to push through uh, the law on foreign agents, basically meaning that they would, uh, they would want to identify all the national and international organizations uh, that would have been funded uh, by the uh, Western partners. Uh, and uh, they would start controlling those organizations, controlling those, uh, the, the finances of those organizations, uh, and then eventually end up, as it did end up in Russia, with closing and shutting down all the critical organizations, all the civil society organizations that may have uh, been, uh, you know, critically vocal against the government. And this was a threat that was widely and surprisingly widely understood by a bigger society. Um, initially, we thought, um, you know, people would not think of it uh, as an aggressive law. Uh, but it turned out that particularly the youth and the younger generation understood it as understood passing this law uh, as something directly um, yeah dedicated to turning us away from the European Union, away from our chosen path, 
and uh, we would end up being uh, in a you know modern Soviet Union. Uh, and uh, this alarming sign was uh, luckily understood in a very um, yeah, a very strict way by the population, and uh, the world has observed how you know thousands of young people would rush into the streets and physically defend uh, their chosen uh, path and chosen policies towards the European Union. And this made, in turn, Brussels, but mainly the uh, the uh, you know political partners in the capitals very much attentive towards Georgia. Uh, if they had, um, you know, some justified skepsis towards Georgia, now they realized uh, these people are true Europeans who really need to, uh, who really need to get invited into the European bigger family and have a chance to develop their country democratically. Uh, geopolitically, this means that we may have a chance now um, that if uh, a positive decision is made um, by the end of this year to uh, to grant Georgia the candidate status, uh, this uh, this would mean that we might finally get away from the Russian influence uh, once and for all uh, and get a chance to peacefully develop our country uh, in the right direction, in the direction that was always a chosen direction of the Georgian people.